Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the Steam Deck in Red Dead Redemption 2. First things first, let's go to the game info tab right here and see the Steam Deck compatibility. It says that it's playable, but it has a little bit of a, an eye over there. Or maybe it's an inverted exclamation mark. That would make a little bit more sense, you know, if it was an exclamation mark instead of an eye. Anyway, <laughs> it says that it is playable on the Steam Deck, uh, but you you will need to type in your Rockstar account, for example, with the display on the Steam Deck, which is a touch screen. It works pretty well. Some in-game text is small and maybe difficult to read as well, but everything else should be just fine. Oh, also, you can just do this with a magnifier tool if you find some text to be hard to read. Let's go over the settings first. I'm playing at 720p resolution, not 800p. That's 1280 by 800 on the Steam Deck, but I can't really set it to that with an external display. It doesn't really matter though. You're going to see like one or two less FPS if you set it to 1280 by 800 it's almost the same thing so let's move on and we're playing using the recommended settings for the steam deck it actually set it to these right here i didn't touch anything and that is low settings with a couple of things on medium and ultra textures because we do have enough vram for that okay that is th that's all right in terms of fps but those frame times man what the hell is happening with the frame time graph it feels so stuttery and i thought red dead redemption 2 was a really smooth game overall you know it usually does not stutter like this what the heck dude is it running out of v oh it's running out of ram and vram guys because the steam deck only has 16 gigabytes of shared vram and system memory and it's actually maxed out look at that 11.5 gigabytes of ram usage and 4.9 gigabytes of vram usage interesting okay how do i how do i mount the oh no of course of course i failed i roach get over here buddy get over here. oh no this is not the oh my gosh everything is going wrong i've never played this game with a controller by the way <laughs> that's what's happening here okay uh why? Yes, it's why. Why to mount the horse. So this is um, completely unplayable, guys, in terms of frame time consistency. It just stutters way too much. So I don't think I would enjoy my time here like this. I am going to go ahead and try to cap it to 30 frames per second using the Steam Deck's built-in cap. Then I'm going to try the in-game cap as well because that's supposedly a little bit better in terms of um, input lag um, and how do i run I, i'm so scared to hit the wrong buttons here guys but yeah apparently if you lock the fps everything becomes really smooth the frame time graph is completely solid at the moment um, unfortunately there is the input lag issue and it still stutters slightly at times unfortunately uh, but yeah, it's it's okay overall. It's a much more playable experience than it was before, that's for sure, you know? And on a small monitor like the Steam Deck's monitor, it will look pretty decent as long as you keep the textures on ultra. Um, you can keep everything else on low and it looks all right. Let's get to Strawberry, which is probably not in this direction because uh, I suck with directions, you know? <laughs> well, it's first person. Okay, interesting. How do I go to the map now? <laughs> oh, that's not that's not the map at all. Um, I am so confused. Can I can I just click it? No, this doesn't go to uh, to the map. Oh, oh wait, what is this? What did I do? You just gotta hold the start button to go into the map. If you just click the start button, it goes into this. Oh, there's also a map there. Yeah, all right. No, God. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's A, A to throttle, let's go, buddy. Roach, everything is all right. Do not be scared of El Crispo here today. It's just a, a new control scheme that I gotta get used to. And indeed, we were going in the wrong direction, by the way. <laughs> you know what, it actually feels okay. The, the 30 FPS lock works extremely well here. You can get used to the input lag. It's not as bad as like a 25 FPS lock, for example. Oh, yeah, let's see if in this game the allow tearing option actually makes it so... Oh my, what the hell happened? I must have touched the wrong 
thing? No? Okay, no, no. Allow tearing is working. Whoa, why? Okay, never mind. <laughs> if I go into this menu, it works. If I get out of it, it gets half of the FPS for some reason. With the allow tearing option enabled. Uh, usually what this does is, if you turn it off, it uses free sync or uh, some variable refresh rate so it doesn't tear, you know. And sometimes that introduces some input lag and you can minimize it by allowing tearing. But apparently in this game it works kind of differently. Let's turn off the allow tearing option and I think I am gonna set it to 40 hertz right here so we can lock it to 40 FPS this time. Okay, so now the FPS are really tiny up there, guys. I am so sorry about that, but uh, well, Red Dead Redemption 2 has a bit of an issue with some resolutions and stuff like that. And if I go right here into the settings menu, oh my God. It stops, yeah, it just gives me a black screen sometimes and stops recording completely. We're back to it, but as you can see, resolution, it doesn't show anything. Oh my god, and if I select... Okay, just don't mess around with resolutions in Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> anyway, the FPS are quite a bit smaller, but at least now it's a sunny day. So that's beautiful. Let's get to the strawberry town, finally. Oh, this is it. This is it. Really close right now. Oh my god, Roach, do not do that. FPS are capped to 40. It still stutters a little bit. Oh yeah, it, it does drop still around here, guys. Oh my god, no, no, no. That is awful. As soon as the FPS drop from your cap, you know, from your FPS lock that you're using, it just goes crazy, that frame time graph. Look at that. It's unplayable like this. But there is a but, and it's not the one that's in my chair at the moment. Uh, I'm going to set it back to 60 hertz, guys, and... Set the FPS counter a bit bigger again. All right, at 60 hertz, I managed to set it to 720p right here, and the FPS counter is back, okay? But what we need to do now is, instead of capping the FPS to 30 in the Steam Deck settings, I'm going to cap it in the menu of the game to half refresh rate, which is 30 hertz. So let's apply that. Okay, it's working now, guys. Ooh, that works so well. Oh, there is virtually zero input lag at the moment, guys. Ah, oh, this is the way. We found the way. As you can see, frame rate limit is turned off here. Refresh rate is set to 30. Allow tearing is off. So it's still using uh, some free sync or variable refresh rate. And now the input lag is gone, guys. And we can play this game at 720p resolution. Absolutely fine. 100% of the time capped to 30 FPS. That's pretty good. Okay. Strawberry Town. Let's kill it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yes. We got some uh, automatic aim assist, which is nice. It just locks onto people like this. And I'm just, I, I, these are just uh, pixels, obviously, guys. It's not real people, although it, it looks like it is. And this game is very in-depth in terms of that. But <laughs> it's just so YouTube knows that we are still a very family-friendly channel here. Okay? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, boy. Okay, I just wanted to see some action, right? And it's starting to drop slightly from 30 FPS, like to 29, but that's not really noticeable, especially when playing with a controller. Oh boy. Yeah, we, even with all of that chaos going around, because somebody decided to start shooting everybody, it was Arthur, not me, obviously. It still manages 30 FPS almost all of the time, and it's quite smooth and playable. Uh... Come on, how did? How are you not dead? Are you serious? Are you serious? A Winchester to the chest and you're not dead? Well, I am dead. <sighs> it's in the name, Winchester, chest. If you uh, hit them in the chest, you win. We're back in Strawberry. This time around, I'm gonna be a very respectful person. Shut up, oh boy! <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit him with a punch or something, not a freaking knife. Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna go sideways again. Oh yeah, let's see the... <laughs> Jesus. No, Arthur, you're okay, buddy, you're okay. Okay, there we go, there we go, yeah. 
Water is usually very intensive. That's why people say that this area is the most intensive one in Red Dead Redemption 2. Here we go. You're gonna die, boy. But yeah, I think for the Steam Deck in particular, since it is more CPU bound usually in games than GPU bound, um, it, where it's gonna drop the most is in Saint Denis. So that's where I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna load the Saint Denis save game. Right, it's Saint Denis time. If it does not drop from 30 FPS, I am uh, pretty sure it won't drop anywhere else. Okay, we already saw 28 there. Frame time graph is a little bit more stuttery than it was back in Strawberry. But it's still playable. Oh my, no, 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 no. I'm, st I'm starting to feel a lot of stuttering, guys. There's not much we can do about a CPU bottleneck here on the Steam Deck, unfortunately. We could try, for example, setting a manual GPU clock. It doesn't need to be at 1600 all of the time, you know, and lowering this sometimes will make it so the GPU want to use as much power and that power can be allocated towards the CPU instead. So I'm gonna try to use like 800 megahertz here. GPU usage still pretty much the same thing. And now hopefully it's not gonna drop to 26 anymore. What if I look back for example? No, not a problem. Okay. Okay, maybe it's slightly more stable like this. All right, actually works in some games and this is one of them, I guess. That's nice, guys. 30. Bob used to be here, but he's not anymore. It has a few spikes still on the frame time graph, guys, from what I'm, I've seen in this little playthrough here. Yeah, see that, for example, dropped to 27 for a second, but that was because of the stutter. It's not really dropping to 27 for a long period of time. It's yet again one of those cases where it's barely playable on the Steam Deck. Basically, this is enough for 720p 30fps locked all of the time. It's better than some verified titles like Hogwarts Legacy, for example. Um, that game is only playable or smooth at least at 25 frames per second locked and... You know, 25 FPS is, is not great with the input lag of the Steam Deck. So I guess if people can play Hogwarts Legacy on the Steam Deck, people can definitely play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Steam Deck. But I actually did expect a little bit better from it. For example, the PlayStation 4 has better graphics and a higher resolution in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's 1080p with around like medium settings. Some things on high actually and other things on low as well. Um, and I was kind of expecting the Steam Deck to be capable of achieving something like that with 30 FPS um, and like high settings. But since it's doing so poorly already at low settings, you know, it still kind of drops slightly every once in a while because of yeah, the, the little stutters here in Saint Denis at least. I'm not going to try high settings, just set it to these. Again, ultra textures will look pretty good still at 720p. Everything else looks okay, and especially on a very small monitor, it's hard to tell that it lacks some of the uh, visual elements that you'd get on a full fat PC. What matters is it's playable, and uh, it's actually kind of fantastic that it's playable on a handheld. You can sink a lot of hours here in Red Dead Redemption 2 on a Steam Deck, and it's gonna feel all right. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.